Yeah. Record, uh, I'll go through the same part. You remember we had said the first one we are supposed to do uh, 11. That was 11, isn't it? 11 centimeters. That's what we agreed. That's what is on the question there. You have to tell me. Yeah. Yes, it's 11 centimeters, which is EF. <laughs> Uh, it's here. Don't worry. It, 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 you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to draw very fat lines. So, <laughs> while you mute yourself. Or maybe I must help you to do that. Uh, yeah, so after this, I'll remove this one. I think the line is clear here, isn't it? Tell me if the line is too thin. Yeah. Are you able to see it clearly? I want feedback. I want feedback. Yes, 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 Mr. Bondo. Oh, okay. So now, after this, then we have to. <clears throat> we have to. We have to measure now the other one. Oh. I don't know. Madam Diana, mute yourself. Yeah. Uh, so then now we have to measure, of course, I'm going to to to, to label them later. Or we can do that even now. But then we were saying from F, from F to G, it's going to be 10 centimeters. So what I said is uh, what we are what we are supposed to do at that point is to get the compass uh, and put it on the ruler, then we measure. Yeah. This is our ruler here. Then I'll get the compass, which is this one. This is our compass. I'll, I'll bring it on the ruler here and measure 10 centimeters. And the 10 centimeters will start from zero. Okay? So I'll come here. This is my 10 centimeters. All right? This is my 10 centimeters. So I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of this. I no longer need this. So if this is my 10 centimeters, I'll I'll get this one and put it here. We want 10 centimeters, remember? We want 10 centimeters, so I'm going to put it here. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, put it here. After that, I'll bring it up here. Uh huh. Then I'll need to draw an arc here. I'll need to draw an arc somewhere here where it's passing here. This is everything here. It's 10 centimeters from what? From F. Okay. So now I'll have to draw the arc like this. Is that okay, Madam Dan? No. Uh, Madam Ada, have you followed what I've done? Yes, Mr. Paul. Yeah, so I after think... yeah, yeah. So after this, uh, what you need to do now is we know that what we have just done here, this is the measurement like from F to wherever G is, it's 10 centimeters. So I'll leave it at that point. 
and then I'll get this one and go back to the ruler. What did you say is from E to G? What is it from E to G? 6.5. Huh? 6.5, yeah. So again, I do the same process. I have to get 6.5 here. 6.5. 6.5, uh-huh, this is 6.5 here. So I'll get this one and this is my, this is our 6.5. So yeah. I'll, get, I'll get this and put it here. Have you seen it? So if I draw an arc here for this 6.5, you will discover that, sorry. You will discover that they won't meet. They won't meet. Yeah. This one. This is 6.5. They will not be meeting. So what I'm supposed to do just is to, to get this and come back here. Because we knew this was like 10 centimeters. Then I'll just go back and extend it. Now that it has touched this one. Then now say, okay, uh, we'll go up to this point. I'll just extend that. Is that clear? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. So if that is clear, then what has remained? is uh, very simple now is to just join these huh you join like from here i'll do this up to this point and then another one up to this one this is our triangle so this is the triangle which i'm going to call what is it called now this triangle is called E F G here. Let us all do that. When you finish, you let me know. I'll proceed to the next question. Let us construct the triangle. That must be very simple doing it alone there. I'm taking my time because we are in a classroom. Yeah. Uh, Madam Miriam, were you trying to say something? No, it's the other gadget which is saying something. I've just tried to log on my phone. That's when I'm able to, I've just logged in now, if you can see. The other one is just quiet. I'm able to see things, but I can't hear anything. So, so I tried on my phone. That's okay. when, yeah. I've just joined, in fact. Oh, yeah. Yeah. From I'm, the I'm... phone, that's when I'm able to hear, but using the tablet, nothing, nothing. I've missed one hour. <laughs> in fact, uh... the dogs have been fed. Don't worry. Hmm?
I'm waiting for people to tell me that they're finished, finished, finished. In fact, you can be sending your work to my, in fact, you post even on the group. This is, this is not a secret so that we, we all see. But sir, some of us were using some phones. Some of us are using phones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but you can minimize that thing. The Zoom thing, you can minimize it and capture. I don't know. I think so. I have sent. I'm done. Yeah, I've seen. So when measuring the 11 centimeters, do you start from zero or from one? From zero. All right. Mr. Bond, I was supposed to label the EG and the is it GF. Hmm? I was supposed to label the measurements like GE, we label it as 6.5 centimeters. And the other yeah, one yeah, 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 yeah. You could label those things. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, when we've done. Yeah, please, those of you that already know these things, don't trouble yourself maybe by attending this class or what, what. Uh, uh, young man, how are you? Where are you? <laughs> and now, uh, okay, okay. Come, come, just a minute. Come, yeah, come, come, come. Uh, come, come to, come to my, yeah. Where are you?
Yeah, I'm very sorry about that again. Uh, okay, so I'm waiting for everyone to finish, then we can move to the next part. But some of you, these triangles of yours are too, like uh, <laughs> when you look at for Madame Brenda and for Madame Ada, when you just look at them, uh, they look different. Or maybe it's from, I don't know, they look different. Or, or it could be maybe from, like maybe the distance from which one of them was captured, maybe, is it so? Okay, when you try to measure, you try to measure this the, the, the distance yourself. Okay, you people, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I was trying to say that this different, this, this was, this are different. So, please just give me one minute. Just one minute, my boys are here. Uh, I'm back. Uh, I I hope we can we can make a move and can and, and deal with the next part of the question. Is there anyone who is just struggling on the, just the first part? Madam Brenda. Madam Brenda. Yes, Mr. Ambondo. I am here. Have you managed? Yes. And you okay. know, my, my mine is looking exactly like yours. It's just that it's not very clear. So I was trying to again like oh, okay. go through using a pencil. Yes. It just okay. looks okay. exactly like 
and I've measured the other one is 10 centimeters. The yeah, 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 yeah. When you measure, it's actually you, you actually have to get the same thing. So please uh, stick around, don't exit until we finish together. And then I push the distance here. Uh, what's the next question? Let me go to um, what's the next question? Uh, Measure and write the size of angle EGF. Yeah, this is the oh okay. Angle EGL. So which angle are we measuring? The one that is at G there. That is the angle that we are measuring, Madam uh, Jane. So to measure these angles, we use protractors. To measure these angles, we use protractors. Okay. To measure these angles, we use protractors. And uh, this is the protractor here. So it depends on where you want to start from. So like in my case, what I mean by where you start from, you need to make sure that uh, this, this is the one that we're using here. This, this line here, let me do this. Sometimes we struggle with this thing. Let us measure it. Let me maybe start with this one that is very easy here. Like, let me start with this one here. So this, this point here, like where we have, uh, there is a 90 degrees angle here, the smaller one that is here. This is the one that you have to put at the angle that you are measuring like this. Then you have to make sure that the other side here, you are like right on, z the zero should be right on top of that uh, uh, side of the. So if you look at this case here now, let me just give you an example. Like if you look at this, we are trying to measure this from here up to that side. That's what we are measuring here, this side here, okay? But I'm just giving you an example here. This is not what we are measuring. Oh. What we need is, the, I'm taking you to there. This is what, what we need now here. I'll put this one. It depends on where you want to start from. Uh, uh -huh, like this. Then I put it here. Uh -huh. So if I'm going to put it like this, the way I've put it like this, if you look at the angle that I'm measuring again, it is this angle that we are measuring here. This is the one that we are measuring, this side. This is what we are measuring. So we are counting starting from here, Madam Ada, zero. Now, when we are saying zero here, you know that we are using those inner, inner degrees there because these ones that are outside here, you start from here. There are zero is this side. They are coming this side. So if we are starting from zero, we need to use those numbers that are inside. Okay? Those that are inside. Those are the ones that start from zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. So it's like our angle is going to be eight. Even you there, if you measure your angle, it has to be 80 or 79. Chipo, what are you getting? Let's do that. I'm getting 73, so. Huh? 73. 73? Yes. Yeah. Yes, maybe. Uh, 73, okay. Let me, let me revisit mine. 
what are we getting the rest of us? Let's give our answers. We can't be hiding our answers. Hmm? Some, some, I got 80. Yeah. I got 80 or so. Yeah, 80 is also what I have here. I also got 80. I also got 80. Uh -huh. That's what I'm also getting here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, 8. So this is what you need in the West. 80. Okay. So I think this one we are sorted. Chipo is going to make corrections on that one. So that is how you get to know that, okay, maybe somewhere, somewhere we went wrong. If you got something very different from the rest of us, so this is 80 degrees here, okay? Yeah. The next question, we have to finish the first question here. If we are taking two hours, let it be so. Yeah. So, of course, we have measured this one here, and uh, we know that it's 80. So let me just rub it. So now the next question is that within triangle EFG, construct the locus of points, which are from these, these three here. Once you construct these three here, these three, there's only one which is remaining. So if you follow the construction of these three locuses or loci, whatever you pronounce them like, you should be fine. If you get the concept, okay? So the first one is equidistant from E, G, and E, F. Which one is the common letter there? E. E. Yeah. So E meaning so we we const we bisect angle E. We bisect angle E. That's what that means. We bisect angle E. And now to be a good follower, you need to let me demonstrate, and then you follow suit. That is what it means to be a good follower. What do I mean? So I'm going to get, this is the compass here. So to do that, we use a compass. <clears throat> so we are going to bisect the angle at E. I said I'm going to use a compass. What did I say? I'm going to use a compass. How? As I'm going to demonstrate. Uh -huh. So I'll put this one here. This is my compass. Then I'll draw an arc here. Uh, I'll draw an arc at this point. After drawing this arc, don't adjust it. Don't adjust it. Just bring it the other side here and also draw the same arc like that. Of course, you know that my campus and yours are different. So you draw this arc and the other one there. It doesn't matter where these arcs are. They can actually be here. And the same. It can be down here. Yeah. Like this. Or it can, you can, they can still be somewhere here. You can reduce it like that. So it really it doesn't matter where these arcs are, but you just have to draw the arcs. If you are able to follow what I'm doing, like step by step, you, we could be doing it together. Then after that, so after this now, you people, after this, what are we supposed to do? We get, we get this compass, okay? Get the compass here. And then you, you bisect, you get this compass now and bring it somewhere here. You draw an arc somewhere here. You draw an arc somewhere here. 
Okay, it can be inside the triangle or outside the triangle. Inside the triangle or outside the triangle. That will still be the same. Inside or outside? I said inside or outside. Okay. Now, what am I trying to say? You draw an arc like this. Okay. After that, after that, you, you cut it without adjusting it. Don't adjust it like mine. Then you bring it the other side. Again, draw the arc like this. Bali, have you followed? Yes, sir. I've already drawn. Okay, good. Yeah. So, Madam Yvonne, are you following? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, after that, We'll now remove this one and it draw a straight line here. From this E point, it should touch, pass through this point up to there. Have you seen that, Madam Brenda? Yes, sir. Okay, so what has happened here is that um, our GZ, oh, our GZ here. So what has happened is, let me just try maybe to get an extract of this. So we have this line, we have another one here, and then we have the other one this side. Yeah, before we go to the next one, I just want to explain something here. This is the one that we used to bisect here, the one that is in between. So this is E, this is G here, and then this is F. So what has happened here is that we have got two regions. There's this region and this region. I'm, I'm pointing you to the triangle that we have just done. I'm using this for explaining. So what we, use, what we say is that this region B is closer, is closer to EG than EF. Then A is closer to EF than EG. Have I made myself clear on that one? There are two regions here that have been made. The, the triangle is like this, by that one there. This region here, when you bisect this one, you get two regions. The region that is up here, which is this one, this region, we say it is closer to what? We say it is closer to EG than EF. That's what we say, this one. It's closer to EG than EF. Then this other one here, we say it is closer to what? To EF than EG. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes. Thank you very much. Take note of that. Take note of that. And you have to know that all those things I'm saying, I'm saying them purposefully. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the next question there is 2.5 centimeters from EF. 2.5 centimeters from EF. So you have to draw 
a line that is parallel to EF. And in between, what that means is that we have to, to, to draw another line maybe here so. Okay. Now that line from EF here, it should do, the distance must be 2.5 centimeters. Here, wherever it should be 2.5 centimeters, that is what we are trying to do here. That's what we are trying to say. I hope that is very clear. Yeah. So after that, after that, um, this is what we are supposed to do now to cut out this. And, um, so we are going to get the compass as usual. Then we measure 2.5 centimeters. 2.5 centimeters. I have measured 2.5 centimeters. Okay. I have measured 2.5 centimeters. Uh -huh. So I am going to put that 2.5 centimeters here. Uh -huh. 2.5 centimeters. Okay, so it appears this one can't easily go. Yeah, so after that 2.5 centimeters, then uh, we are going to have, uh, I'll draw an arc here for 2.5 centimeters. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. I'll draw it like this. That's for 2.5 centimeters. Then after that, after that, I'll, I'll carry this one. I'll carry this thing, the compass, and do the same thing the other side here. I'll carry that one and bring it here. The same thing that I did there, I'll also do it at this point. I'll also do it at this point. Uh huh. Here. Uh huh like this. So what I mean here is that from E and F, we need another line that is parallel to this. And they're supposed to maintain a distance of 2.5 apart. So when you do this, then you draw now that parallel that parallel line, that parallel line, which is be touching just, it just, of course, you know, it has to pass on top of these ones here, like this. Okay, like this. Uh, just a minute, I think, yeah, Let me redo it. It has to touch this top, this other one here. Yeah. It has to come like that. Um, Um, 
struggling to draw this line nicely. Anyway, I'm sure you have already done yours because, uh, yeah, I think this is better now. Something like this. But don't forget that eh, according to what the instruction is in the question, all these acts, these ones here, they are supposed to be within, within the track. Oh, within, they are supposed to be within, they're supposed to be within the triangle. So if it is within the triangle, then we may not need to focus much on the part that is inside here. These things, when they are marking, they just look at it and mark. No one measures anything. It's, even in the marking case, put there that you mark by sight. Yeah. So that is basically what you are supposed to do there. And um, have we followed? Is there a question? Someone has left. Please don't give up. That is what you're supposed to do there. That's what you're supposed to do there. Wonder. Mm -hmm. uh, the red the red axe, I don't know what I can call them. You you just estimate there's no need to measure. No, no, no. You just estimate, yeah. You don't measure anything. Just estimate. So let's do the next one. Uh This one says equidistance from E and F, equidistance from E and F, equidistance from E and F, equidistance from E and F. What this one means is you need to bisect this line, which is EF. You have to bisect this line, which is EF. That's what you're supposed to do there. That's what that one means. Is that okay? Yes, sir. So to bisect that line, again, Madam Ada here, you don't measure anything. You are just going to get your what? You are just going to get your compass, which is this one. And this compass, this compass, you make sure that you adjust it to a length that is more than a half. I said you adjust it to a length that is more than a half of it. After you have done that, so like me here, I've put it at what? At eight. At eight, because the whole thing is 11. But sometimes you don't have it. When you, even by sight, you can tell that this is more than half. So when you do it to, uh, when you do it to, you look at it that you have extended it to more than half, that line which you need to bisect. Then you have now to draw an arc down here. Okay. You have to draw an arc down here. Okay. You draw an arc down here. Like that.
after that now, I'm struggling, there's something I'm not seeing here. Okay, so after this, then don't 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 do anything. Just just get it like this. Then it should come up here. Up here, you also draw another arc here. You also draw another arc up here without adjusting it. I know there will be a lot of them. Can I change maybe the color? Yeah. Also, do another arc up somewhere here. Another arc up here, like that. Then, after that, you don't have to adjust this compass. You don't have to adjust this compass. After you've drawn one arc on top, another arc down. You just get it as it is, then bring it here, here, and then repeat the process. What do I say? You repeat the process, and that you are just interested where these two acts will meet. So like in this case, they have met here. Have you seen where they've met? Have you seen where they've met? Am I alone now in this class? Are my people here? Yes, sir. Yeah. So after this, then again, I go down and find a place where they will meet. So I need, like the other one will not even belong. The other one will just be like this because I've seen where they meet. Then after that, after that now, I'll just have to join these two points where they meet. There's this one here and that one there, like this. Like this. Is that okay? Oh, let's do it better. Need to be done any better. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, like that. We have done those two. Uh, we'll do these questions. We'll have another session or two more just for people to be sure of what we are supposed to do. Now, uh, let's read the last question. The last question, if you look at the last question, or The last question says, a point P within triangle EFE, EFG is such that it is nearer to EF than EG. You remember what I was saying at first time? Yes, sir. So, yes, yes. Yeah, so if it is nearer to EF, we are looking at the, that white line there, the white line, the first one which we did. So meaning it is below, okay? It is below. Nearer, it means we are looking at this. 
new people. It means we are looking at what? This side here. Remember, we are looking at this side here. We are looking at this side here. Because we said this one. We are, we are looking at this side. It's nearer this one. That's what I told you. A grid, it is this side here. A grid there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the next one, the next one says nearer to E than F. Nearer to E than F. Now we are considering this line here now, this one, this line here, this line. So nearer to E than F, if I say this is A and B, which one is nearer to E? A. Yeah, so the region where A lies, that is the one which is nearer to E than E. So take note of that. So that region is the whole region here, like the whole region like this. This is the region that we say it is near at what? To E, it's the whole thing like that, yeah? Then, and it's greater or equal to 2.5, centimeters away from EF. It is greater. It is greater than or equal to five centimeters away from EF. Remember, the one for centimeters, it's this line here, isn't it? This one. You remember that? And below. So, the greater region, is it the one that is on top or the one that is below the greater region? Top. Because it means as we come down here, we are reducing. So the greater region is the one that is on top. Above there, it is equal to and greater. Below, it is equal or less. Is that okay? So, if you look for the region that satisfies all these, it is this one here. This is the region that he wanted you to shade. Just this one that I'm shading right now. It is the one that satisfies all of them here. This one. So, if there is a letter that was supposed to be indicated there, a point P, this is where you were supposed to put your P. I hope I'll be able to save this video so that I share it later. Those of you that may need, you can go through it again. Maybe that to help. Then tomorrow, we'll meet at 20 hours. We'll be attempting question two and three tomorrow. And then after that, we'll see how we'll proceed tomorrow. Otherwise, it wasn't easy. For, I think this is one of our latest classes like that. Yeah. Any question? It wasn't easy. Yeah, it was rough. So I appreciate your patience. Any question? So I wanted to find out what if you are measuring angle E, how do you put the compass? The worst is the protractor. 
like this. So the measurements you take them from? From zero always, from this side. From inside, remember we're measuring the inside. So you start from here. You start from this point here, going this side. But sir, uh, my my pro my protractor is different from yours. It's like <laughs> opposite from what. Let what me is, see how is your protractor. Let me share it on the. It's like the opposite. Me, you, you are using the ones inside. That's the one gave you eighty. Me, when I use the one outside, it's giving me eighty. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's 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 yeah. You just need to start from zero. You just have to start from zero. And you will not start from this side, Madam, uh, Madam Jane. This is like outside the triangle. So how, how? So like you need just to start from here. You're measuring this side up to this side. Yeah. Alternatively, this is how you could measure it also. Okay. Yes, it's fine, sir. Thank you. Until tomorrow, uh, thank you very much for enduring and for persevering. We'll leave it here now. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night.